Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to export Adobe Illustrator layers to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, they will remain editable. All right, so first thing you will need to have is your artwork, whatever artwork you want to export. And um, you would have created it. And the first thing you do is that you go to the layers panel. And if we take note, you see these colors. These colors just shows that um, these this artwork are all on the same layer. So what you will do first of all is make sure this uh, the layer is, is selected and you go to this uh, drop down and click on release to layers sequence. So once you do that, you take note of the colors again and you notice that they are all different colors. This tells us that they are all on different layers. So we're going to do some cleanup before we export to um to photoshop but this is not very important because it may depend on the artwork and what you have already done but in my own case i want to combine certain layers to make them um sit on single layers so in this case uh, i want to make sure that all these stars are all on one layer so i'm going to select them make sure i select each and every one of them So once I have that selected, I go to my um, Pathfinder. I go, uh, which I'll find on the Windows uh, Pathfinder. Let me bring it up here. So what I'll do once they are selected together, I go to this um, uh, shape mode and click on Unite. Then I click here to make compound shape and expand so that I have them all as a compound shape. So once that has been done, I want to rename it stars. This uh, step is not really very important if you have already um, organized your layers and named them appropriately. So I just want to do the cleanup before I export it. So I name this uh, 20, um, I name these years. Then if you notice that they are, you notice that they are blank layers. So I'll just take them out because that's where we had the stars the stars was were taken out from there so what i'll just do i'll just select all of them and click on the dustbin icon and delete them because they're just empty and redundant so these uh, circles are these two circles so i want to merge that also and um, make sure it's selected and i have the same step by going to unite make compound shape and expand so i'll name it I'll just name them dots and I remove this layer 26 because that's where one of the dots was combined from. So I'll just look at everything. I look at 33 and 34. I notice it's empty because if I hide it, hide and show if I select, there's really nothing on those two layers. So I delete those two uh, layers and I just uh, name this. I'll just call this red. You can name it appropriately and uh, layer this is the text layer i can leave that and this is the lower text layer i can leave that this is the uh, red ring outer this is the yellow and the blue so what next i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to file export export as and i give it a name so i want to call this uh, crest so whatever name you want to call it crest then i make sure that I'm exporting as photoshop.psd. So once I click that, I click on export. Then in this dialog box, you see that the color model is CMYK. It's CMYK because my artwork was already in CMYK. If you worked with RGB, you make sure this is showing RGB. So I set it back to CMYK. My resolution, I want to leave it at three. I can always reduce it if I want it smaller, but 300 is um, better for higher resolutions. Then the important thing you need to remember is to check right layers. So once you click on right layers, I want to preserve text edibility and maximum edibility, making sure that that is checked and I click on OK. So that is exporting and that has been done. Now we're going to go over to Photoshop and open it and see what it has done. All right. So in Photoshop, I'm going to open and go to the, the file that I just exported, which is called Crest. And I click on open. Now take a look closely at the layers panel. 
you'll find out that my layers have been exported as they were so you see they are all editable separate i can hide and show i can do anything uh, on these layers and remember that the text was exported to make it editable i can always change this so the all the text remains editable remains editable and we see all our layers are live all right that brings us to the end of today's tutorial don't forget to share like and subscribe because every week i bring you awesome tutorials take care and catch you in the next one